hello guys welcome back to coding cafe once again so now in this video tutorial we are going to work I mean here when a user write a comment and when he click on this comment uh, post button then we have to store the comment inside our firebase database so yeah let's do it okay before we proceed to this make sure to follow me on my facebook twitter and instagram this is my username so you can write this in the search box and you can follow me there so that you can never miss any single update from coding cafe or from me because there i post regularly about our channel and about the videos that is when we upload uh, when we will upload our next video and also about our new revolutionary upcoming android projects and web projects so make sure to follow me on my twitter and instagram and also add me on facebook so yeah let's start it so this is our post comment button and we have also add this i mean we have accessed these fields inside our own create method now the next thing is to set a click listener on this post comment button so we can say post comment button dot set on click listener new on click listener and now inside this on click method we will uh, validate comment i mean we will create now a method called validate comment and then we will write the code to save the comment text inside the firebase database alongside with the username user id and the date and time that is on which time and on which date the user commented on a specific post so for that first of all uh, let's add a reference a database reference here at the top so we can say private database reference and let's call it as user ref users ref let's go to the main activity and we have already created this reference here so for the time saving we will just copy this user ref okay and go to the comments activity and this is our user ref and now let's paste it uh, that reference below this post key so this is our user ref which is the user node so the reason I we will use this I mean the reason behind this user ref is that we need to as extract or you can say fetch the username uh, from our users node so we have to store it alongside with the comment text comment date and comment time so here we can uh, say user ref dot okay we will be needing a uh, current user id so first let's retrieve the user id so what i'm going to do it is a string type so put a comma here and let's call it as current underscore user underscore id and we need to add a firebase auth also so we can say private firebase auth m auth and now come down here and above this user ref we can say m auth equals to firebase auth dot oh sorry firebase auth dot get instance and then we are going to receive the current user id so we can say current user id equals to m auth dot get current user dot get uid that's it so now come down here and here now we can say users not user ref i mean which is the user reference to the user not so to the child and inside that child i mean we have a current user id so we are referencing to the user who will be online so we are going to retrieve his name or her name so then we can say add value event listener new value event listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this on data change first let a validation if data snapshot exists dot exist then what we 
are going to do we are going to retrieve the username so let's call it as user name that is snapshot dot child and and first let make sure the name which is the username so it is user name so we can say user name child dot get value oh sorry get value dot to string so yeah that's it and now the next thing is to add when a user click on the post comment button I mean uh, first we have to validate that is he has or she has written something here before he click this okay so we have to validate that and when then everything is okay when he click here then we have to store this inside the firebase database so here we will uh, call a method which we are going to create now so that method is a uh, really really that comment and we have to pass this username as a parameter and once the user click on the post comment button then we have to make the comment let me check it what's the name of it it is comment input text so you can say comment input text dot set text to null yeah that's it and now let's create this method create method inside the comments activity so you can see that our method is created successfully now uh, you can see that this is the parameter and now inside this method first we have to validate the comment input text so we can call it as string uh, let's get a string comment uh, text equals to we have to get the text from this field so comment input text dot get text dot to st and then we can say if text utls dot is empty and let's pass this comment text here so if this is empty then we are going to tell the user uh, with the help of toast message to please write text to comment that's it and if everything is okay then we can say else and inside this else statement we are going to write code to store the data inside the firebase database so first we have to get the current time and current date so we can say calendar or for the time saving let's go to the main activity and here we already use i mean uh, the current time and date when we updated a post so we will just copy the code from the uh, from the main activity and we will paste it on our comments activity and it is not on the main activity it is on the post activity i guess yes on the post activity come here to the post activity and scroll down here inside our storing image to firebase storage method here you can see that call for that and save current date so this is the code for the date so copy from here and paste that here so this is our uh, uh, current date and also let's come here and we will copy this which is the save current time so past it here too so yeah that's it and now we are going to give it a type final string uh, safe current date copy this and paste it here also for the time so this is the string data type so this is the time and this is the date and also we have to a random key just like we did for the post so by using the time and that we will create a random key so let's say final 
string random random key let's call it as random key equals to current user id plus the current date plus the current time so that will be our random key the combination of current user id current user id the date and the time so yeah the next thing is to store it so we can use a hash map hash map let's call it as comments map equals to new hash map and with the help of comments map we can say comments map dot put so the first one will be the user id which is uid comma and it is stored inside the current user id so we can say current user id and put a semicolon here and let's copy this and we will paste it for the time comment and the username so one two three four the next one will be the comment text so we can call it as comment and it is stored inside the variable called comment text and the next one will be our debt that is on which that the user uh, comment on someone post so it is stored inside the safe current date and then we have time so we can call it as time it is stored inside the safe current time and the last one is the username user name it is stored inside the user name which we send to this method as a parameter okay which is this one so yeah that's it now we can say post okay so let's create a reference to our post node so we will uh, store this i mean you know that this is the post random key and inside this there is a, uh, there is information about post so inside this post random key for each post there will be, we will now create a nodes a sub node uh, i mean a child to this post key and inside uh, there will be a comments node and inside that comments node there will be information about the all the comments on this specific node so you will understand it more clearly when i run the app at the end of this video okay so yeah let me complete this first so now here i can uh, create a post reference first so for the time saving uh, let's go to the post activity and we will uh, just copy this post ref from here and let's go to the comments activity and we have our database reference user ref put a comma here and we will pass that post ref here and go to the post activity again and here we have this post ref equals to copy this from here come here and paste that post reference down below which is this one and now we will modify it for the comment so under the post node under the post node we have a post key so we can say dot child post key which is this one which we are retrieving from our previous activity so we can pass this post key to this and under that post key we want to create a child for the comments so we can say child and then we can call it as c o w -E m e n t s comments yeah that's it so this is our post ref now come down here and here we can say post ref dot child oh sorry we by mistake write the post key okay so post ref dot child and the child will be our random key i mean for each comment there will be a random key because we do not want to mix the comments 
so you can say a random key post type for child random key dot update children and we will pass the comments map to it dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and inside this on complete we can say if task dot is successful then we are going to tell the user that you have commented successfully or your post is added successfully so let's write a toast message and we can say you have commented successfully that's it and if any error occurred then we have to display the error message so we can say else and we can say error occurred try again that's it so now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and let's go to the database and now let's try to check it so click on comment button so let's uh, let me write a comment so let's say hello my first hello my first comment trust god always so let's click on this post and you can see that if i expand this and click here then you can see that we have this comments not comments not and under this comments not there is a post uh, there is a comment unique random key for each comment and under that key we have uh, the comment text the date that is on which date the user write a comment and then the time the user id and then the user name so this is awesome i mean this is amazing let's uh, comment on some other post so let me comment on this post let's click on this comment button let's write here a comment so let's say hello hello john Cena. so you can see that if i expand this comments key and then the comment information so in this video tutorial we have successfully allow a user to write a to write a comment on someone post i mean we have stored that comment information successfully inside our firebase database so now in the next video tutorial what we will be doing that is we will retrieve all the comments here on this comments activity so in this video we have stored the information the comments information inside the firebase database as you can see that and now in the next video we will retrieve all these comments on each post i mean uh, every comment here or uh, for every specific post on their comments activity so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and if you have any confusion then let us know in the comment section below and also you can uh, tell me and send me a text on my social media account as i told you this is my username so don't forget to follow me on twitter instagram and also add me on facebook so yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video and take care of yourself bye for now